people, you definitely need to look beyond Singapore. A lot of the growth are in our neighboring countries. First of all, you got to do your research. Uh, you got to know what's needed for the job that you want. And then secondly, you've got to not just talk, but you've got to get in there and get and start learning. If the students are very keen on RPA, I will advise that he or she go online, self-taught and self-certified first. Second of all, if you are very keen to explore as a business into this specific area, go and understand more about business processes and how to take those processes, map it into the roadmap of RPA and how you can use RPA tools to improve on those processes. People hoping for a textbook or a degree or a course that will give them all the answers, but the reality of it is is that everything is online, so the internet is really the best place. What worked for me best is that uh, I had a community of people, the like-minded people to share, to learn with each other, bounce ideas off. Sharing this knowledge will work. You will never truly be ready. Don't wait. Once you do the work that you need to do, gather the feedback, decide on a date, decide on a moment and execute. Move fast and break things. Even if there are bugs introduced into the system, into your website, go. Move fast. Because startups in this age, they are moving in breakneck speed. So if somebody were to enroach into your territory, all you can do is to really outflank them. The last thing would be to focus. Put in my time and I focus and I really drive down into one, we will really see results. First you have idea, then you have more validation in terms of like feedback from people. Then if it's a product or if it's a service, you need to make something, you need to have an application, a minimum viable product to try it out with people. Then you need to actually do the study to understand. Then that's how you know that okay, it's possible. It's always, you know, a matter of trying, iterating, getting feedback. It really boils down to your strengths, what you're good at. But you need someone or you need to build your skills for the other aspects as well. It's the whole overall view and the whole package. Even if you don't know, you have to learn how to do it. You have to make sure that you're able to cover all of this. Ultimately, if there's no one pushing it, there's no one oiling the engines, there's no one trying to discover how to drive the car, then the dream won't become a reality. Lah. really have conviction and really grit because I believe aspiring entrepreneurs would have like naysayers and dissuade them saying that it's not going to work and stuff but I would say really have conviction and grit and really believe in what you do and then really push it and persevere forward. For aspiring entrepreneurs, being resourceful is more valuable than having resources itself. One should really think off the box and be really creative to overcome and reach your objective without too much resources. If I were to tell my younger self, I would say please stay as reckless, stay as ambitious as I, I was already am back then. Right? Don't change, take all the risks that is out there because truly there's really nothing much for you to lose anyways. Just follow your dreams, understand your objective and just do it.